Thank you for joining me today, guys. I've got some, a couple of really interesting and very hard to find guns from SEMA. Uh, these are Outpegs, or uh, low power, low uh, price electric guns. Um, they are in functional condition. They actually work, but there's uh, quite a number of things wrong with them. So here comes the first one. This is the Stunt Studios. Um, I'm not sure what model this is uh, specifically, but this one features a, uh, a, a fake dual clamped high cap. This works, nothing wrong with it. And this is, the bodies are actually very much like the uh, Spring MP5s that I've recently reviewed. Um, I've actually gotten into the broken stock here, and this one's uh, this one's just missing that little silver tab that holds it in place. Um, 5A5 stock. These are based on the MP5A5. Uh, fixed sight does appear to have the hardware for the uh, claw mount select fire. Here's the Stunt Studios marking. Stunt Studios is a subsidiary of Aftermath, who is a subsidiary of Gamo, if my memory is correct. This one shoots at about 150 FPS, which is concerning. I'm going to try to fix that. Cocking handle moves back and forth. Uh, front side is loose. There are threads for a uh, mock suppressor. I'm going to try to collect that. Um, how do you put the battery in is you just pull this little tab here and then this comes off and reveals a JST SM connector and then this is the hardware that I pulled from the gun uh, including the sling hook and then the little black lever piece although I don't think I have a spring in here so I'll have to get my hands on one of those i got to try to find a correct battery for this. I, I'm sure they're still available. I feel like I've seen them before on eBay. But I want to try to restore uh, these two models. Adjustable hop-up, by the way. Um, fully uh, adjustable, not to position. And you can just uh, you can dial it into your correct settings. Very rigid. And plastic gearbox with plastic gears. Uh, again, fixed sights and this isn't a gun that got screwed over by being made clear this one uh the black version does have a fixed uh rear drum sight too uh, i've rambled on quite a bit enough with this one and we're going to move on to the other one that i've got to show you very cool gun even for an, uh, a low power gun uh, this one's a bit higher end Although in much worse shape, although still in functional condition. This is the CM025. Um, this is the OEM version. Uh, this one has a stick magazine, much like the Well D94S that you just pull all the way down and then load from the top. Uh, as far as I know, you can't find any other way to operate it. Uh, by the way, these magazines are actually interchangeable between the CM025 and the CM023. See? And I've tested them. They both fit and feed. Although this one, let me move on to that. This one, the stock uh, does lock in place, but as you can see, it's uh, bizarrely missing the, the uh, bottom half. No idea how that got pulled off, but um, and I think this one has that stock plate and spring intact. Although I have to push back the magazine release. Um, and then on the other side, god damn it. Here are here are the markings. SEMA and again in that SEMA font that we've seen before. Uh, CM025. Oh the paddle or this part, the button release does not work. It's just molded into the receiver. Um, and again, these are very similar bodies. They both have the same stock assembly. I believe exactly the same. Uh, this actually has a hole for a uh, weapon light, which I'm not. I received this gun in exactly this condition, so I'm not sure what the potential would have been for that light. 
This one's held in by a pin and then re uh, pulls off to reveal uh, both the chamber. Uh, <laughs> he wired this to Dean's for like no reason at all. Like it's just a low power gun, dude. I mean, that's really cool. That's something I would have done, but uh, sacrificing the, the uh, weapon light mount is not something I would have done. Not at all. Then again, I'm very anal about uh, maintaining the packaging and then the original appearance of the gun. Uh, same adjustable hop up, very stable. Scope mount capability, although I haven't tested it. This one has an adjustable adjustable diopter sight, although it does not have the close quarters uh, or, uh, uh, open sight. These are entirely uh, aperture based, or diopter, my bad. Again, this is an MP5A5. Select fire. It does not have that Navy SCF lower, although I believe the markings are incorrect. Uh, there should be three round burst in here if I remember correctly. Um, And this one, instead of having a threaded orange tip, has the three lug, uh, what do you call it? It's a three lug uh, muzzle device. I'm not sure if it's a brake or a flash hider. I think it's a flash hider. Um, the pin for this one uh, actually broke, so I have to go and fix that. And I think that's about it for this one too. But very similar to the HFC and then possibly Tokyo Marui that we've recently looked at. So I'll, I'll have kind of a head start on getting these apart and what to expect. Although these have gearboxes in them so I imagine it'll be a little different. Uh, steel sling clip by the way. Very cool, very nice touch. Oh god, how could I forget? One of the most glaring issues with this gun is that the cocking handle is actually busted. Unfortunately I'm afraid. Although I could get uh, a replacement. I believe these are actually all the same cocking handle assembly. So if I can get my hands on a regular CMO 23, we can just get the cheaper version and put it back in here. Um, another thing that's wrong with both of these is that they're only chronoing at about 150, 130 FPS, which, and that's 0.12 gram BBs, um, which it just seems so much lower than what they're advertised at. Um, I was expecting at least like 180 to 200, but um, these ones aren't doing so well, not doing so hot. So these are just some restoration items that I'm looking forward to uh, restoring. I'll keep you guys updated on that when I make significant progress. And that's all I had to show you today. Uh, both guns are working, but uh, they definitely need some work. Okay, thank you very much for watching. That was my intro to this uh, repair project, which will probably take a very long time considering how rare these models are. And uh, stay tuned. Hopefully I'll make some progress on these very soon. Thank you for watching.